So the Thunder became the 10th team to blow a 3-1 lead in the best of seven series in the first in a conference final since 1981. Russell Westbrook became the third player to have at least 10 assists in six of seven games of a conference finals. But he also had the most turnovers in the Western Conference Finals in the last 30 years, Skip. He had 31. Mm -hmm. Can the Thunder win a title with Westbrook at point guard? Stephen A., I'm going to say it again. I say no. I say the Thunder will never win it all with Russell Westbrook as the primary decision maker. And to Molly's point, 31 turnovers, a record in the Western Conference Finals from a player whose deficiencies I feel like get overlooked by many of the analysts and a lot of fans because he plays with such passion and ferocity and makes so many spectacular shots. We get all that. We know all that. So many triple doubles. We get it. We compute it. But sometimes we miss the point, which is Russell Westbrook led the playoffs again in usage rate, meaning the ball was in his hands more than anybody's hands on any team in the entire Western or Eastern Conference playoffs and he's turning it over at a high rate. Golden State beat Oklahoma City all three times during the regular season, in large part because Oklahoma City averaged 18 turnovers a game in the regular season. Biggest culprit, Russell Westbrook, four a game against Golden State in seven of this Western Conference Finals, 4.4 a game he averaged. It's just too many because the ball's in your hands too much. And we're back to if I may, this is where I lost objectivity on this. You remember, I loved Kevin Durant when he was at the University of Texas. I predicted he would win multiple scoring titles in the NBA. He went to my quote-unquote hometown Oklahoma City Thunder, and he started to average lots of points, except that the point guard started shooting more shots. And I, I kept telling you, Mr. Smith, how can you justify the point guard shooting at more times a game than, than maybe as gifted a scorer, may, maybe as we've ever seen in the history of this game? A guy who could break the all-time scoring record, Kareem's all-time record. How could that point guard justify shooting more shots? And I said it so many times, Kevin Durant finally got mad and defended his little buddy, his little brother, his teammate Russell, against me, ripped me, said Skip doesn't know anything about basketball. And I, was, I, I had mixed emotions because I liked what Kevin was doing for the sake of his team. Obviously, I took it a little personally because I think I do know enough about basketball to know that I'm right about this. So here we went again last night. Oklahoma City up 13 in the first half at Oracle with six minutes to go. And what happened through the first half, you and I went back and forth early in the show about it. Kevin Durant shot five shots in the first half. He made four of them. So he had what looked to me like a hot hand. Moment wasn't too big. He wasn't trying too hard. It wasn't going to be another 10 for 31 night like game six was back in OKC. It looked like he was going to take the game over. Except Russell shot it 12 times in the first half and made only five and took that ill-advised three that completely shifted the momentum up 13 for Clay to go the other way and make two threes and all of a sudden it was a basketball game. And it just drives me a little nuts. I thought Russell had sort of grown up after game three that they lost at home to my Spurs. Remember, he went 10 for 31 and said, no, it's on me. I take all the blame. I got to get everybody else involved. And he did until all of a sudden they're up three games to one on Golden State. It looked like they're in the driver's seat. They're in the NBA Finals, and they lost five and six and seven, in large part because of the primary decision-making of one Russell Westbrook. I just don't love him. I, I've never loved that part of his game, and you and I have agreed he, he's more two-guard than point guard, and he's, he's a pretty sensational two-guard. I'd want him on my team. I just wouldn't want the basketball in his hands every second of every possession as he walks it up the floor. Skip, I agree with you. Um, I'd love to disagree with you, but the facts speak for themselves. You're absolutely right. Um, he's a sensational talent. He's one of the top five players in the game. His motor is unlike anyone else's. 
Um, he could be on my team any day of the week. Uh, all of those things are true. But him being the primary decision maker is problematic. There is no denying that any longer. Um, and I think that, you know, let's give credit where credit is due in this sense. He averaged 23 and a half points and more than 10 assists per game. And I believe about 7.8 rebounds, which is close to eight rebounds yep. a game. So essentially it was 23 and a half points, 10 rebounds, and nearly eight assists per game. Skip Bayless, he, his, his percentage from the field in, improved from 42% last year to 45% this year. That's pretty good. And he took four less shots per game this year. He went from 22 down to 18. Kevin Durant played only 25 games last year, only averaged 17 shots a game. This year he averaged 19, so he went up. decision maker because when that is the case problems tend to happen and here's the biggest reason why hating to give you credit for this but you deserve it and I'm fair the reality is clear they went up 3-1 and then they engaged in hero ball the only thing one can surmise from that is that it wasn't enough for you to win you were looking to get the credit you were looking for the star to shine brightly down upon you. And ultimately, it assists in course in Oklahoma City a shot at the crown. That's what it comes down to. I don't think he's alone in it. I think whether uh, directly or indirectly, I'm, not cer I'm certainly not accusing that of being Kevin Durant's agenda because he's not built that way. Russell Westbrook very well may be built that way. And after all of these years, Kevin Durant, even though he's more of a leader, gets in guys' faces, talks to them, instructs them what to do. I saw him playing more of a leadership role this year than he ever has. Yep. The reality is, is that the profound impact that he needs to have on Russell Westbrook that he should be able to have after all of these years was not as successful as we would like. But I'm not going to totally blame Russell Westbrook. I'm going to repeat this, Skip. There were many occasions over the last two games that I saw Russell Westbrook call a play, and hand the ball to Kevin Durant. You know, I go back and I watch tapes of these games as well. I literally saw a couple of occasions last night, Russell Westbrook calling plays similar to what he called when Scott Brooks was the coach, except Scott Brooks not the coach now. It's Billy Donovan and the plays that were being called and the fashion in which they were being called was emblematic of Scott Brooks still being on the sideline instead of Billy Donovan. I don't know what to make of that, mm. but something's wrong with that picture. And I think it has something to do with why they're going now. Didn't you see some of those plays, if not most of those plays, look like just lob it to one side, ISO plays for Kevin? You just lob it over to him and say, okay, do your thing. And... Iguodala can really defend, man. He, he's tough. Well, well, it's, not, it's not just that, Skip. It ain't that hard to defend from Bad. this perspective. Yep. Kevin Durant is not moving a lot without the he's ball. Not. And he's not making you chase him around. Yep. And they're not setting screens and picks for him all the time the way that they do for other players, including Russell Westbrook. So as a result, you get to just man up on him. He's just so great that he can make the shots anyway. But the reality is, is that the kind of things that systematically break down a defense, Oklahoma City doesn't exercise with Kevin, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook on the floor. They just don't do it. Deion Waiters at times looked like their best point guard last night. He did. I agree with that. All right, let's leave it there, guys. Go to the finals. So the Cavs celebrated, of course, after winning the Eastern Conference Finals. We showed you here an emotional LeBron James in his post-game interview. But will they have the motivation to get revenge on Steph in the dubs in the finals? We'll discuss it. Do they have anything else to celebrate after the break? So 
the Thunder became the 10th team to blow a 3-1 lead in the best of seven series in the first in a conference final since 1981. Russell Westbrook became the third player to have at least 10 assists in six of seven games of a conference finals. But he also had the most turnovers in the Western Conference Finals in the last 30 years, Skip. He had 31. Mm -hmm. Can the Thunder win a title with Westbrook at point guard? Stephen A., I'm going to say it again.